Hello everyone, welcome to our Astro Life. My name is Abdur and today I'll be showing you how to process a video of the International Space Station that you have taken. Um, I covered the process of actually taking the video and the camera settings to use in another video. So this video is going to focus entirely on processing the video that you've taken. Uh, now, if you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless video camera that takes videos in any format besides .avi, you will need to download the following programs. Uh, P the first one is PIPP, second one is AutoStacker 3, and the third one is Registax. Now, once you've downloaded those programs, we're just going to go to the actual video. So in my case, this is the video over here that I had taken with my Fuji X-T2 DSLR camera, or mirrorless camera actually. And I was uh, taking the video in 4K format with uh, 30 frames per second frame rate. And the video was in .mov format. Now the astronomy programs don't actually read MOV formats, so we will need to convert this video to PIPP that the programs can actually read. So to convert the video, we are going to use a program called PIPP. So I'm going to launch PIPP over here. Now this is a very, very handy program. And what we're going to do is just grab this video and drag it over into PIPP. Now this is a video of the International Space Station. If you look at the actual recording, most of the frames are blank, but if I Oh, right there. So you can see the International Space Station moving around very, very quickly. So the recording is a little bit jerky because it's really hard to keep the station in one place. So one of the other things that PIPP does besides uh, simply converting the video from one format to another is to actually detect objects and center them in the frame, which makes it much easier for us to actually process the video later. So now you can see the preview over here. And this is the main PIPP program. Now, here are the options that we are going to use. And these options should work well for anybody. Uh, first option is we select the ISS option over here, optimize options for ISS. So we just check that one on. Now, we're going to go from source files to input. That's the second tab. On the second tab, we will uncheck this option, which is debear raw image files. In this case, we do not need to debear them. This is straight color video from a DSLR camera. Next, we are going to go over here, input frame color slash monochrome, and we are going to select color. Then we go to the next tab, which is processing options. In processing options, we see right here under frame stabilization mode, object slash planetary selected, we leave it at that. Object detection, we check that, make sure that is checked. Minimum object size, uh, the ISS is going to be pretty small, so we can set that to uh, five pixels. If the ISS doesn't show up in your video uh, after you put it through PIPP, then you might need to decrease that from five. Object detection threshold, we can leave that at, uh, at auto, or I like to set it to a low value. In my case, I will try maybe five. That should be good. Now, center object in each frame, we leave that checked. Enable cropping, yes. Because the ISS is so small compared to the size of the actual video, in my case, it was 4K video, uh, we don't want to spend all that time processing empty space. So what we're going to do is we're going to crop the video to 800 horizontal versus 600 vertical pixels. So now it's going to take that gigantic 4K video and it's going to crop it right to the center and it'll center the ISS in each of the frames. Now we go to the next tab, which is quality options. We leave that as is. Animation options, don't need that. Output options, now this is an important tab. What we can do is we can either select .avi or .ser. Uh, I just select .ser. Now if you select .ser, you're not gonna be able to play that video uh, with Windows Media Player or any other regular video program, but that's fine. We're gonna be putting this video through another program to actually process it and get an image. So we can use .ser. It really doesn't make a big difference which one you choose, whether AVI or .ser, but I always use SER. 
Now we go to the next tab, which is do processing, and we hit the start button. And the video is going to take a little while. It might take, uh, you know, five to 10 minutes to actually process. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pause it and then I will start again as soon as uh, the computer has finished processing the video. Okay, so PIPP is now done processing our video. So it's showing 100% over here. And you can see that in total, out of the probably 1500 frames or so that we started with, uh, actually 1,590 frames that we started with, we can see that a total of 370 of those frames had the International Space Station detected in there. So basically, PIPP took those 370 frames, centered the International Space Station in every one of those frames, and then created a video file for us. So that's great. We can go ahead and close the PIPP program now. Now we go back to the folder where we had that video and we see that PIPP has created this folder for us. And that folder has the .scr file that we had asked PIPP to create. So now our video is in .scr format, which means that we can go ahead and use our next free program, AutoStacker 3, to actually process the video. So we're going to pull up AutoStacker 3. I have it right over here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab this video file and we're gonna drag it into AutoStackert. We can minimize that. So you can see the first frame over here, not, uh, not looking great, but if we hit play, we can see a, a stabilized video of the International Space Station that we had captured. And right up here, you can see what frame number you are currently at. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's looking much, much better than I had expected when I was capturing it, considering how shaky the initial uh, video was. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the main auto stacker program, and we're gonna make sure that planet over here is selected. We don't wanna use surface, we want to use planet. So even though the ISS is not a planet, the option works great. Uh, we're gonna make sure Laplace value six is fine over here. We select local and all we do is hit analyze. Once we hit analyze, AutoStacker automatically sorts all of the frames by quality. And as you can see, the first frame over here is the highest quality frame. That looks really nice. We can grab this bar up here and move forward and we can see the frames decreasing in quality as we go until at the end, absolutely horrible quality. So what we have to do is determine how many frames we want to use out of these 370 total frames that we started with. So what I recommend is looking at the video over here and look at this curve. So you can see the curve gently going down towards zero and it starts at 100%. So uh, you can go up to where this green line intersects with this 50% blue line. So over here, uh, this is 25%. So right over here, this is, we can take a look in the preview window, 14.9%, so about 15%. So I recommend using about 15% of the frames here because 15% of the frames are above average, above this 50% line. You can, you can decide how many of the frames you want to use out of the total uh, 370 frames, but 15% over here is going to be 56 frames out of 370 frames. So I'm gonna go with 15%. So down here in frame percentage to stack, I will just select 15. Now we'll go back to the preview window and what we're going to do is we are going to select a, a size for the aligned points that we now have to place. Since the International Space Station looks quite large in my image and shows some detail in the solar panels and the main body, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, place multiple align points along the body. Actually, those are a little bit too small. You can right click on an align point to get rid of it. So just make them a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'll place one on this solar panel, one on this solar panel, one in the middle. So just a few along the main points. You don't want too many and you don't want to put them on an area that is 
too dark. So this looks pretty good. Now, uh, if my International Space Station was really, really small, it looked like a relatively small dot in the center, I would just place one align point on the body. So in that case, here's what I would do. I would just have one single align point. So if this was really, really small, if it looked like this, I would just put one align point over the entire thing. But in my case, since the International Space Station is looking pretty large, I am going to actually and just uh, put multiple align points along the body on the main areas, uh, some of the solar panels here. Okay, once we got that, once we've selected the, uh, put the align points on there, we'll go back to the main program and we will just click stack. And in a few seconds, we will go back to the folder where our video was and we'll see this as underscore p15 so that's 15 percent of the frames that were stacked we go into that folder and here's an image of the international space station now it still looks a little bit blurry right now because this is a raw image so what we have to do now is we go to our third program registax so i'm going to launch registax there it is and once registax loads Going to go back to my window, grab that raw image that uh, Auto Stackard had generated, and drag it into Registax. Uh, yes. Okay, here we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sharpen this image a little bit. So, to sharpen it, here are the options I always use on the left hand side here. We'll select Dyadic. At the bottom, we'll leave the Gaussian option on. And um, the, the smaller wavelet layers over here, these are, the, these are the tools that you use to sharpen the image. So number one focuses on very, very small detail. Number two focuses on slar slightly larger detail. Number three focuses on even larger detail and so on. You normally don't want to use number one because it over sharpens things most of the time makes them very noisy. So usually number two and three are a good option. So I'm going to use number two, drag the bar a bit to the right, see how it looks. I don't want it to be too noisy or too sharp. So uh, I think this is a good compromise. So you can see a lot of detail on there. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good compromise. And now what I'm going to do, because I'm noticing that there is some chromatic aberration here, you can see the colors split into two. You can see some orange, yellow on this side and blue on the other side because of uh, basically the atmosphere splitting the light coming from the International Space Station because it was not too high in the sky when I started imaging it. Uh, my balcony gets in the way before that. So we're going to go over here on the right, use this RGB Align tab. And this little green window pops up. So we're just going to make that window bigger, put it right on the International Space Station, hit the estimate button. And then we just give it a second to process. You can see the progress down here, 65%. And once that reaches 100%, there we go. So once that reaches 100%, what you have to do is hit this do all button before you'll actually see the changes applied. Okay, now that we hit the do all button, you can see that the color is gone. It merged all three of the color channels back into one. So Registax got rid of that chromatic aberration. So once that's done, you can close this, click save as or save image and you want to uh, name it something. You don't want to override that initial image, so I'll do ISS C8. There we go. Actually, C8 Barlow. And you can save it as a JPEG, you can save it as a TIFF, whatever format you want. If you're going to process it more in some other program like Photoshop or GIMP, you can save it as a TIFF. If you're just going to share it as it is, you can save it as a JPEG. And I hit save, we are done. I can go ahead and close this. You can close Auto Stackert. 
and now we go back back to our folder and here we are our image of the international space station uh, taken with only a c8 a 2x barlow and a manual mount uh, so in my other video i described how to actually take the video so you can uh, check out that video for more information about that uh, this video was mainly about processing and how to actually process the data that you've got so using these three uh, free simple programs, PIPP, AutoStackard, and Registax. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. So thank you uh, very much for watching. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your shots of the International Space Station. I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, have a good night.